ESPN is giving everybody the boot all the way down from the janitor to the most recognizable on-air personalities. According to the article by the New York Post, ESPN cutting around 20 on-air stars in dramatic round of layoffs. ESPN is laying off some of its biggest stars, including Jeff Van Gundy and Jalen Rose, in a purge that is expected to result in around 20 on-air personalities being let go as the network hopes to save tens of millions of dollars, the Post has learned. The layoffs involve top NFL, NBA, and ESPN personalities, according to sources. ESPN informed all of its employees Friday morning of the forthcoming cuts on an internal website, according to a memo obtained by the Post. The five-paragraph note did not go into many specifics. At the beginning of Disney's three round of layoffs, sources told the Post that at ESPN, there would be no sacred cows when letting go of personnel. This has become apparent on Friday. While the likes of ESP, while the likes, excuse me, of Stephen A. Smith, Scott Van Pelt, Joe Buck, and other and some other big names are not at risk, they're expected to be decade-long on-air talent let go. Last week, the Post reported the network was scrapping its morning radio show that features Max Kellerman, Keyshawn Johnson, and Jay Williams. Max Kellerman, who makes in the neighborhood of five million dollars a year, and Johnson, who is a year into a five-year, around $18 million deal, are considered in jeopardy, while Williams has a contract that is up at the end of the summer. That's probably not going to get renewed. Monday Night Football pregame analyst Steve Young and host Susie Colbert are also among those are also considered to be in trouble. ESPN's parent company, Disney, who previously had three rounds of layoffs with the, call of, with the goal of eliminating seven thousand jobs that's a lot of fucking jobs which were ordered by the company's own ceo bob eager now here are my two cents about this number one disney is a disgusting company the fact that you will have to lay off seven thousand employees because you lost tens of millions of dollars is your fault not the employees you see this is what happens when you continue to try to push political propaganda into sports it pisses people off it turns them away it's a reason why espn is losing a lot of its viewership it's a reason why espn has lost 914,000 u.s customers in quarter one of 2023 espn's own sports channel saw a 1.2 percent drop in customers since december okay this is why espn's two largest cable tv networks espn and the disney channel lost two million subscribers apiece during october 1st 2022 people do not want to see politics integrated into sports it is divisive it turns people off it pisses people off and when you have this whole woke agenda that espn is pushing towards the audience they don't want nothing to do with it and as a matter of fact how are you guys cutting all these jobs to save tens of millions of dollars when you just gave just gave pat mcafee a five-year 80 million dollar deal so it seems like all that money is going to pat mcafee and i'm not shitting on pat mcafee he does a fantastic job on FanDuel, but it seems like you're just cutting all these other personalities just to continue to give guys like Stephen a smith like pat mcafee big time money how much money does espn think that pat mcafee show alone is going to generate the fact that it was getting a lot of buzz is because it was youtube and it was uncensored and pat mcafee had full 100 percent control of what went into his show into his show now that he's on espn's platform they gotta be fcc friendly so they can't curse on air they're probably gonna have to dress up in suit and ties and there's certain subjects that they can't touch because espn has to continue to to portray this political image that they are not about in reality so this is just ridiculous and notice how espn remember a couple years ago when espn you know told or not even espn when disney told everybody to get the jab the vaccine man is if you don't get vaccinated you will no longer have a job guess what a couple years later you no longer have a job so for all those people who were blackmailed into getting the COVID shot. And if you didn't get the shot, you were fired. 
see if you can sue espn and disney for that because i'm pretty sure that violates some type of constitutional right but in the communist world that we live in the constitution is null and void at this point but see what you could try to do about that but it's crazy laying off all these people with no probable cause and this is why i tell people all the time do not give your all to a job because at the end of the day they could turn around and fire you with no probable cause just because you are losing money don't mean that i have to lose money they pretty much told everybody who got fired today hey you're gonna have to find a new way to provide for yourself to provide for a family to keep a roof over your head to keep clothes on your backs to keep food in your stomach thank you for all of your service thank you for serving us and making and helping us make tens of millions of dollars off your backs uh your result is thank you get the fuck out the door have a nice day while we continue to rack up millions billions of dollars i'm starting to wonder is disney actually broke because you're laying off seven thousand people no probable cause you've lost hundreds of millions of dollars in your last recent eight movies because it's been pushing political propaganda that's been pissing people off you're losing viewerships you're losing subscribers are you really making that much money as the company seems to be and disney owns about 70 percent of the media which seems to be a monopoly so is disney really plunging down before our very eyes but what do you guys think about these mass layoffs at espn very popular names have been let go for no right no probable cause maybe this will be a sign for for espn and disney to get their shit together and to stop going pro woke and feeding this political garbage into sports people don't want to see it and if you continue to do it you're going to continue to lose tens of millions of dollars and more people will will have their jobs getting cut at that company those people who got fired like jen rose and jeff and gundy hopefully they go work at other networks maybe fox cbs or maybe they could start their own thing everybody's starting a podcast now on youtube or twitter or stuff like that start your own route but as i said again do not ever ever depend on a job to be a sole financial income provider because just like that they could turn around give you the middle finger and say fuck you go find something else to do while you have a family and yourself to take care of financially but let me know what you guys think about this do you agree disagree leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel smash the like button and i'll catch you guys later deuces